Our objective in this lesson is to convert a normal random variable to a standard normal variable and vice versa. Let's have a quick review of our previous lesson. Find the area to the right of z equals negative 1.83. Let's have our table and our steps. Step 1 is to sketch the normal curve. Let us label it with our z value here, negative 1.83. This is negative 1, negative 2. Then somewhere here is negative 1.83. And then step 2, we analyze which area are we looking for. Is this one or this one? It says here, to the right of z. If this is z, then to the right is this region. Step 3. We locate our z value in our z table. Again, we do not have negative values here. So instead, we're going to look for positive 1.8, the first two digits. And then the hundredths digit is on the top row. Here it is. Let us get the intersection. And the area is 0 0.4664. Remember, the area given by this table is from the mean to a specific Z value. So this 0 0.4664, let us label step 4. That would be from the mean to negative 1.83. Okay, let me be clear on this. Area is always positive. Even though it is on the left side of the mean or on the right side of the mean is still area is always positive. It's a probability. There is no negative probability. 0 0.4664 is the area from the mean up to negative 1.83. It's only this portion. But we are after from this up to this portion. So how are we going to solve that? We know that half of a normal curve is 0 0.5. So if we want this shaded region, we simply have to add 0 0.4664 to 0 0.5. And this will give us 0 0.9664. Moving two decimal places to the right, 1, 2, 96.64%. Again, this is to the right of Z, so meaning values of Z that are greater than negative 1.83. Let us define a standard score or C score. It is a transformed score which designates how many standard deviation units the corresponding raw score is above or below the mean. So we have a formula for this, where Z is the standard score, X is any raw score, mu is the mean, and sigma is the standard deviation. When raw scores are changed into standard scores, they are expressed in standard deviation units. But you may want to ask me, Ma'am, why do we have to convert raw score into standard score? Let me give you an example. In a class, for instance, you take a quiz, the score that you compare with your classmates is your raw score. But you cannot compare that with other people that do not belong to your class. But if we standardize, meaning we convert the raw score into standard score, then we can compare scores for different groups of people and we can compare scores on different tests. I'll show you later. Let us have our first example, converting raw score to z-score. The average IQ score is 100 with a standard deviation of 15. If your IQ score is 120, what is your z-score? Express your answer to the nearest hundreds. Okay, first let us identify what we have here. We have the average IQ, which is 100, meaning that is the mu. Mu is equal to 100, the mean. And then we have here the standard deviation of 15, so sigma is equal to 15. And then your IQ score is 120. This is your score. So this is the raw score. This is x. x equals 120. Let us recall the formula. Let us now substitute our values here. x is 120. mu is 100. 
and sigma is 15. 120 minus 100 is 20 divided by 15 is 1.33. So this is the corresponding z-score of 120. Example number two, the average height for a 17-year-old boy is 69.1 inches with a standard deviation of 2.5 inches. What is your corresponding z-score if you are 65.9 inches? Again, let us identify first the given. Our mu, the average, or the mean is 69.1 inches. The standard deviation, this is our sigma, 2.5 inches. What is your corresponding z-score if you are 65.9 inches? So this is your height. This is the raw score, so x is equal to 65.9. Again, the formula. Now, let us substitute 65.9 minus 69.1 divided by 2.5. Computing this in our calculator, it will give us negative 1.28. Another one. Nutriless Company has an average weight of 25.4 grams with a standard deviation of 0 0.3 grams in their potato chip bags. What is the standard score of potato chips bag that weighs 26 grams? So first, let us identify our mean average weight, 25.4. Standard deviation, 0 0.3. What is the standard score of a potato chips bag that weighs 26 grams? So this is the X. Recall the formula. Now substitute. We have 26 minus 25.4 divided by 0 0.3. And this will give us positive 2. This time, let us interchange. Let us convert Z-score to row score. Find the raw score for a mountain bike when the bike's Z-score is 1.5. The average cost of mountain bike is 12,000 pesos and a standard deviation of 1,500 pesos. So again, first we have to identify the mu that is the average and that is 12,000. Then the standard deviation, our sigma is 1,500. This time, the given is the z-score, and that is 1.5. We are asked to solve for the raw score. Let us first recall the formula that we had earlier. From here, we are going to manipulate this so that we could derive the formula for x. So it's either we multiply both sides by sigma, or for shortcut, we simply cross multiply. So this will become z times sigma equals x minus mu. Since we are after the x, we will move negative mu to the other side. It will become positive. So here is now our formula for z-score to raw score. So let us substitute. Our mu is 12,000 plus our z-score is 1.5. Multiply by the sigma, 1,500. Computing this, it will give us 14,250. So this is the raw score that has a corresponding z-score of 1.5. Another one, find the raw score for an examination when the average of the test is 32, the standard deviation is 2, and the z-score is negative 0.5. So again, let us identify first the average, and that will be 32. The standard deviation is 2, so sigma is equal to 2. And the z-score is negative 0 0.5. Our formula is x equals mu plus z times the sigma. So our mu is 32 plus our z is negative 0 0.5 multiplied by our sigma, which is 2. And this will give us 31. Let us do extra challenge. A scores in the general mathematics has a mean of 32 and a standard deviation of 5. While the statistics and probability exam has a mean of 30 and a standard deviation of 3. If Aldous scored 37 in general mathematics and 36 in statistics and probability, 
In which subject is his performance better? Assume that the scores in both tests are normally distributed. So let us have first the general mathematics. The mean is 32. The standard deviation is 5. And Aldous is scored 37 in general mathematics. So x is equal to 37. Let us solve for the corresponding z value. Let us substitute 37 minus 32 divided by 5. 37 minus 32 is 5 divided by 5. This is equal to 1. Now, let us have the statistics and probability. Here, the mean is 30 and a standard deviation of 3. Aldous scored 36 in statistics and probability. So, x is equal to 36. Let's substitute to our formula 36 minus 30 divided by 3. 36 minus 30 is 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. In general mathematics, the z-score of Aldous is 1, while in statistics and probability, his z-score is 2. So this means Aldous performed better in statistics and probability than in general mathematics. Because this is 2 is standard deviations higher than the mean, while this is only 1 is standard deviation higher than the mean. Remember, I mentioned earlier that through standardized scores or z-scores, we can compare scores on different tests. Like on this example, this is in general mathematics while this is in statistics and probability. If you only have raw scores, you cannot compare the scores on different tests. That is the importance of converting raw scores to z-scores. Here are the summary of what we discussed, the formula for converting raw score to z-score, and the formula for converting z-score to raw score. Now, it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. Let us answer the average score in a statistics and probability summative test is 33 with a standard deviation of 2. Determine the standard score of Granger if his z-score is 1.5 and Lancelot whose z-score is negative 0.5. So let's have Granger first. The average score is 33 and the standard deviation is 2. The z-score of Granger is 1.5. To convert this into raw score, let's have the formula. Let us substitute our mu is 33 plus 1.5 times 2. 1.5 times 2 is 3. So 33 plus 3 is 36. Now let's have Lancelot. Still the mean is 33. The standard deviation is 2. But his z-score is negative 0.5. Let's substitute to our formula. So we have 33 plus negative 0.5 times 2. Negative 0.5 times 2 is negative 1. So 33 minus 1 is 32. Gets? Our next lesson is computing probabilities and percentile using the standard normal table.